Hi everybody! Today we're going to be making a galaxy themed soap, which I hope works out. I've never done it before. And it's going to be scented in Apple Mango Tango from Indigo Fragrance. It smells delicious. Alright, so let's get started. I've already pre-measured my oils and my lye water and everything, so let's add the light water. Okay, and now, well this is unique. I don't think I've ever had it center it like that. It's kind of cool. There we go. All right, so now I'm going to add my cocoa butter. Oh, we're going to add the fragrance. I have not used this fragrance before, but from what I read, it seems to behave. So we shall see. Oh my goodness, that smells so good. What is that? A lot of preparation went into this soap, and I hope it all pays off. Because, like I said, I've never done this one before, and I've never made a galaxy themed soap. So, all this is new. Let's give this a little stir. I don't want. Alright, anyway. So, now we're going to add. I'm going to have the base of the soap black. take quite a bit for this amount of batter. Let's see how that goes. Because this has a habit of poofing, I'm just taking my stick blender before I start. See how it goes. <laughs> going to need more but let's stick blend it a bit more. Maybe not. I do want a black, I don't want gray. I'm going to go ahead and scrape the sides so we get all of that charcoal down in there. All that crunching sound is that you might hear is the neighbors upstairs. We have very terrible flooring, so I get to listen to that all the time. So I apologize for that. It's just a touch gray to me, so I'm going to add just a little bit more. Because I definitely want it black. I'm also using this the spoon instead of the stick blender because when you stick blend it, it, it comes to a trace faster. And so I, this seems to be a very thick batter already. So I don't want it to get any thicker. I'll give it a last little burst once I'm sure I've incorporated all of the charcoal off the sides. I think we'll 
go with another heap. And while we're doing that, I'm going to go ahead and put in, I'm going to put in some glitters. I'm not going to put in a lot. I just want to, to test it. I think I'm going to take my glove off for this so that I don't have glitter all over my glove. And I'm just going to put a pinch of the red in. This is Ruby Red Slippers glitter by Be Scented. I'm going to add a pinch of Super Sparkle glitter from Wholesale Supplies Plus. I don't want to put a lot in, just a little contrast. And then I'm going to put a pinch of Caribbean blue glitter also from Crafter's Choice Wholesale Supplies. I want a little bit of blue, more blue because I think it will contrast. Alright, <laughs> now I'm totally glittered. I'm leaving that open because I might add more, but let's put my glove back on. Alright, let's give this a stir. I wasn't sure if this would show up in here or not, so I'm taking a chance. That's why I didn't put a ton in. And I don't think it's going to really show. But you know what? I have a backup. Ooh, this is getting thick fast. We have to hurry. All right, so I made, I had some leftover soap. It was Mountain Pour Glycerin Soap. It was white and it has a bunch of, um, or some glitter in it. And I just chopped it into little pieces. And I'm going to throw that in there because I want it to like kind of look like stars. But I think I've got them too big, but you know what, what the heck, let's see how this works. I don't know if they'll show up. I think I want a little bit more. Now, I don't think I'm going to need to stick blend this. This is thick. And we seem to have achieved our black color that I was looking for. Part of me is wanting to add some more of these white pieces, but I'm really not sure if they're going to show up. You know what? I've had them. Let's just do it. Let's just throw the whole bag in there. Why not? Why not? Sometimes I tend to overdo stuff. Sometimes I tend to underdo. Whoa. Underdo things. Let's just go for it. Alright. So that's that. Now we'll give that one more a little stir. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see the blue or not. Now I made extra because I'm going to pipe um, the top. I made a few other things, which I'll show you in a minute. So now I'm going to move this over here. Zoom. All right, perfect. Okay, so I'm going to add a little bit of this. Ooh, she's setting up fast. It must be the cocoa butter. Remind me next time not to make a thick batter so. Oof. I don't want to leave a mess on my thingy. Let's put this down real quick. Okay. So, I, oh, I'm making messes everywhere. 
So I have these little balls I made. days ago that I'm going to put in there. I have a feeling I made them too big, but you know what? What the heck? Why not? Let's first... That one's way too big. I want to make sure there's one in every cut. Oh, look how thick this batter's getting. Okay, let's add some more batter. Boy. I'm trying to work fast because it's so thick. Oh, you know what I did? I did not, um, think about the extra amount of soap when I made my recipe. So I'm going to have some extra batter, which is fine. I'll just have a little side soap for my sale. Okay, I'll smack this down. Let's add some more. I hope that this comes out the way I'm envisioning, but you know what, I don't know if it will. Okay, so now I'm just going to let this sit a bit, and I'm going to set up my batter for um, piping, and then we'll be back. All right, I'm back. I went ahead and did all the dishes, gave it, I cleaned up my mess a little bit, and gave it time for the, the piping to thicken up. So what I did, and I'm not sure if it's going to show up, but it, when I, I layered the piping into here, and I put different colored sparkles on top of it, or glitter, and we'll see if it actually shows up. Not really. Wow, I made it. I did cut it really, really close though. Alright, that should do it. Let's set this aside. Okay, I don't think. I'm still debating. I made these last night to put on the top, and I'm not particularly thrilled with them, but it would add some color and contrast. So what the heck, you know? Why not? So Definitely not perfect or anywhere close to it. Let's hope the inside looks better than what I've just done here. Give it a spritz of alcohol. Well, this is it. This is 
how it came out. I'm not sure if we can see anything on the inside. Nope, not really. So, here it is. Apple Mango Tango, and I'm not quite sure what I'm going to name it yet. If you got suggestions, feel free to leave me a suggestion. Okay, thank you guys for watching. Okay, today we're going to cut yesterday's um, Apple Mango Tango Galaxy Soap, so let's see how it turned out. Well, unfortunately it turned gray instead of the black that I wanted, so that's kind of a bummer, but let's see how the inside looks. Okay, here we go. Let's see if I'm in the camera. Let's scooch over a little bit. All right. Well, different. I think we could have done better, but for a first try, it's livable, I guess, but not exactly what I was hoping for, but it smells really good. Again, it was scented with apple mango tango. Next time I know to make much smaller little balls and uh, maybe not so many different colors on them, but <laughs> it is colorful. That's all I got to say about this soap. Sometimes you win and sometimes you lose, but you don't know unless you try. So there we go, guys. Have a good one. Thanks for watching.